Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to another episode of Virgo's Crazy Love Life. <laughs> okay, Virgo, this is a reading for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe, or at least subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoy this video, this reading. Um, you guys, personal readings are linked below in the description box. So I've opened up one more slot. So you guys, um, they book up fast. So if you really need to get a personal reading with me, go ahead and book your reading. Um, depending on the slot in the day, you may be able to get it same day. Okay. All right, Virgo, we're going to take a look at the Celtic cross reading and see what the energies are here for you. So you have the past, the King of Cups, present, you, Virgo, the challenge, the Wheel of Fortune. What's driving this reading is the moon. Um, we have the Hermit crowning the reading, the near future, the Four of Wands, you and your advice, the Knight of Swords, the other person, Two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Um, Hopes and fears, seven of cups, and the outcome is strength with the five of wands. Hmm. All right, Virgo. Looks pretty good. So obviously we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Leo on the table here. Oh, also Aquarius. Uh, yep. Okay. Let's take a look at your love messages. Love messages. What are Virgo's love messages? Virgo, Virgo. Okay. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay. Virgo, you're going to be spending some time with someone. Maybe a holiday coming up. Or the holidays. Honeymoon energy. Fun loving um like a sense of feeling like you're on a honeymoon basically and chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here okay virgo you know whoever's whoever you're connecting with um there's something here that is just impossible <clears throat> for you and or your person to sever okay whether you are connecting at this time or not, this feels to me like some kind of magic here between the two of you. But there's a need here for you, Virgo, to really put yourself first. Love yourself first at this time. Respect yourself, definitely. Have your um, deal breakers. What are your deal breakers, Virgo? Um, deal breakers have to do with the character of a person, not necessarily the things that they do or don't do. So for example, leaving the toilet seat up is not a deal breaker to end a relationship, not putting the cap back on the toothpaste. They may be annoying things, but if that's your deal breaker, probably not a good idea for you to be in a relationship. Deal breakers are cheating, lying, abandonment, neglect, abuse, those kinds of things. All right, so there's something here for you, Virgo, that perhaps you need to take a look at as far as that energy goes and needing to really, if in those cases, redirect your love back to you. Okay. Um, but let's take a look. Even if that's not the case, it's just really important no matter what situation you are in or not in, love yourself first, Virgo. Okay. All right. So the past, you've got the King of Cups. Now, some of you may have been connecting with a water sign. doesn't have to be, but this King of Cups is not usually someone who wears their emotions on their sleeves. Usually they are someone who has a depth of emotion, deep, 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 deep feelings. Okay. Um, 
everything they they do comes from a place of love. So they're not someone who's generally a logical thinker, or at least in the past, even if they were someone who was a logical thinker, it feels more like this person is was more in the energy of um, kind of keeping quiet about how they truly felt um, in the past, okay? There comes across to me as someone who's very empathetic and um, supportive, but let's get a clarifying card here. And then there is a dolphin jumping out of the water there. The one thing I wanna tell you is, look at how he's sitting on that, I don't even know what that is, like a floating uh, podium of concrete. Very stable energy. Um, one foot in the water, one foot balanced, you know, on, on like solid rock, but this King of Cups is like an island. This King of Cups is kind of like a loner, is how I feel. Or at least, well, that's how the King of Cups comes across here in this deck. All right, let's get a clarifying card. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. This feels like someone who definitely was in a waiting or had you waiting, um, was quite delayed. Maybe a decision uh, needed to be made whether or not to invest in a connection with you or not. So this is very passive energy, okay? And sevens can be about inner awareness. And I feel like this person may have been really checking themselves, checking their feelings or their emotions and trying to figure out whether or not to invest in this connection or not. Okay, it's kind of a passive energy is how I feel. Um, questioning, questioning. So in the present energy, um, the Queen of Pentacles is here. So here you are, Virgo, putting yourself first at this time, focusing on definitely a lot of you focusing on your career, your work, um, being very resourceful. I mean, some of you are just really reorganizing your lives or organizing your junk drawer, you know, getting things in the, putting things in its proper place, I feel like emotionally, mentally, physically. Um, some of you are just truly investing in yourselves and what you want in your life, what you do and you don't want. Now let's get a clarifying card here. Queen of Pentacles, okay, and you've got the moon. So you're really trusting your intuition about what you need and what you want, right? Not listening to anybody else. Um, you're making sure at this time that you are looking also for unseen problems or things, kind of strategizing a little bit or looking to see what could possibly, what could go right and what could go wrong, that kind of thing. Um, but I see you making voluntary changes in your life, like you're doing things on your own and making changes regardless of what or whom is connected to you. You're doing you, Virgo. Now the Wheel of Fortune is here, which sits in a position of a challenge, okay? Which means there's a turning point coming in your life but it's re at this time it's difficult to get the wheel so the wheel is upright hands are on the wheel Virgo and I see you kind of turning the wheel and going in a particular direction in your life but I feel like the wheel needs a little grease okay because it's really not turning smoothly and I feel like you're trying to get it to kind of you're trying to steer the ship. So perhaps the wheel is there in front of you, but you're not exactly sure which direction to steer the ship or which path to take in your life at this time, okay? Um, because I feel mostly like somebody in the past was undecided and you may be currently making the decision for yourself about what you wanna do and which path you wanna go. Because in the past, 
and that this person may very well be like this in the present, but we'll see, is very passive, not doing anything, N not pulling away, not letting you go, but not holding on to you. Okay, that energy just kind of maybe they just are up in the clouds or they just poof. You know, they're, they're, it, it feels like a, an energy, like very surface. It feels like this person is kind of, oh, what do I want to say? Like kind of orbiting, like in the moon, like you can see the moon, but you, you just can't touch it, but you know it's there. Like it's out of reach is how I feel. And very much so with that moon energy here. And let's see what else is making this challenge. Why is the Wheel of Fortune? Because you know things are about to change. And it's you're making changes that may be very challenging and difficult for you at this time. Although I feel like you have all the resources to do this. Let me see. Okay. Ooh, the Page of Cups. For some of you, some of you just want new love. This is what I feel. You, you're ready for new love. You're thinking about it. Or somebody's communicating with you whom you've recently, maybe you recently started talking to, or there's communication here. And so some of that communication might be, do you want to respond to text message or calls or a letter that you get? I feel like you're really checking yourself at this time. And you may be receiving some kind of a love letter or love message from someone. And you're just kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to move this forward. I don't know if I can, you know, I don't, I'm not sure if it's a good idea. I kind of feel like a little bit had to do with yesterday's reading where perhaps there were some trust issues. And I feel like that might be true because with the moon driving this reading, this is a card of... <laughs> sometimes deceit and lies but it can also be like being disillusioned so there may be something here where you're trying to see clearly about some things about the way you feel about what's going on you know trusting your instincts versus trusting that that um domesticated side you know you're kind of torn between the two you know like your intuition is kind of like okay running this way but then the practical side is like but wait no it's that so with this moon energy i feel like there's not enough information things are kind of hidden you know like when the moon shines through the window it casts shadows which can cast doubt and i feel like you have a lot of doubt at this time in regards to a relationship whether you want to just move forward with somebody new or try to reestablish connection with someone else you know it could go either way let's take a look at the moon okay there's the shadow side do you see I was just saying casting shadows this is devil energy you know this could have something to do with obsession or um, lust or addiction um anxiety this is like a lot of anxiety you, some of you might be struggling with some anxiety at this time because there's these big changes that are trying to happen in your life right now big big changes and it's it's not that i don't feel like you feel you can't do it but some of you some of you want to move on and some of you don't is how I feel. Okay, there's Capricorn energy there. Somebody asked the other day, why is Capricorn always the devil? It's just the planet that rules. Um, Capricorn rules the devil card. That's all. It's not, it's not all of us tarot readers think every Capricorn is a devil. <laughs> it's cute, but you know. All right, so hermit mode. Yeah, you're kind of like re self-reflecting at this time. You're in, you're like, I don't know, your mind is like you, your thoughts, you're, you're going within. You're seeking to be illuminated, to gain insight. Um, the hermit's usually up there, you know, on the mountain by um, him or herself and seeking clarity at this time. 
personal truth asking yourself what do you want what do, i just keep seeing that scene from the notebook where noah was asking ali by the car what do you want what do you want like you have to make some kind of decision here virgo and you know what the decision you make if it's whether it's between two people or whether to let someone go somebody always unfortunately somebody always gets hurt but the thing is, Virgo, the decision you have to make has to be about for you because you, if, if you listen to everybody else, then you may regret or you may not. It, this is about loving yourself at this time, honoring yourself, asking yourself, do I want to wait for this person to come towards me and to make a decision or do I just leave it in the past and move forward, okay? Do I respond? Do I just turn away from any type of communication? Am I ready to even start dating again? Or do I just want to be on my own for a while? You have a lot of things you're thinking about at this time. And you've got temperance here. So some of you might be just deciding to let divine timing work its magic and not do anything, okay? Sagittarian energy, but you're definitely trying to balance and weigh things out for yourself. You're definitely taking on an element of self-control at this time, which is very good. So what's coming up for you is the four of wands. So there's definitely going to be some kind of a reunion happening here. Now it could be with, um, you know, family, friends. It could be with a lover. There's a homecoming. Some of you might be buying a home or moving into a new home and there's like a housewarming party coming up. Others, or maybe you just had one. Others of you have somebody coming to your home or you're going to theirs. But the Four of Wands overall is a card that represents marriage and commitment and the 1111. And there's an element here of balance. Okay, Three of Cups on the Four of Wands, definitely a reunion. That's double clarity there. Three of Cups energy, two is celebration. There could be a wedding that you're going to, or maybe for some of you, for some of you, you could be getting married. There could be um, some type of an offer of marriage while... Um, no, it's interesting. Well, I have to get over to this other person so I can show you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to skip over there right now because I feel like with this two of pentacles here, this person is truly, whomever you're connecting with, has truly been weighing their options and making a, deci a decision. Okay, and this is a decision about actually committing to this relationship. Okay, if that's what you wanted. Um, only though, of course... Virgo, that it's healthy because I don't feel like you would commit to just anyone or anything. I feel like, you know, it's commitment is not the end all be all. It's being together in a healthy relationship and having quality, having quality relationship, right? Um, now, if you had that in the past, okay, with somebody, it may just been that this person was just delaying moving something forward but i'm seeing communication coming in for, from this person this page of wands this person is totally smitten with you um this is my crush card you know this is a card of excitement so definitely an energy of communication coming in about a decision that they're making here and i feel like it's going to be about coming together i'm just feeling some type of holiday time there's going to be some holiday time where you guys are getting together. And I feel like it can be a situation where threes are about communication, coming into union together. Um, for some of you, even celebrating a birth um, or just getting in this position of, of sharing. Uh, I'm hearing also telling friends, um, telling some friends. That's what I just heard. There, there, I'm feeling like an announcement is going to be coming up where you're going to announce something or your person is going to announce something to do with the relationship. Let me just get one more. Oh, look. 
the eight of wands so there's travel there's <laughs> good news coming forward for you virgo and that page of wands that's being inspired that's enthusiasm from this person yeah three of swords there was some kind of heartbreak maybe a third party situation but there was some kind of a heart this person's heart is truly broken um maybe you i don't know if i don't see that you went with somebody else some of you may have but i'm not seeing that here what i feel like is your person thinks that you're going to leave them forever probably because you've pulled in and you kind of have gone quiet or they think there's somebody else or there was some kind of an argument and they don't want to argue or have any conflict or fight okay there's also an element of like some type of surgery um, that you might be going through or having soon and this person is totally worried about it and they may want to come be by your side okay so there may be some communication from them about that yeah, this can be like the doctor coming in or the surgeon here with the Knight of Swords. But this is, if you're trying to make a decision, I mean, the cards are saying um, have the surgery, but of course, these are just general readings. So it's really important that if you're making some kind of decision like that, that you take this into account, of course, but also get the proper um, guidance from experts about that. Okay. Um, so let's see your advice here. Wow. I just heard fight death. Okay. I don't know what that means, but also, um, be strong and be assertive with your communication with somebody. And if you are seeking some kind of a lifestyle change, um, go for it. That's what I'm hearing. And make sure that you communicate that strongly to a person. If that means we're done and I'm not waiting anymore and I'm moving forward and I'll find new love. Um, if that's something you need to tell this person, then that's what you need to tell them. Um, if it's that you're putting an end to, um, the waiting, here and you're gonna call the shots maybe some of you might even be telling with this this person what they need to do or what you want them to do if they're going to just be hemming and hawing and being passive so it feels like whatever your decision the message here is to put an end and transition and take the reins in your life okay don't the, the Knight of Swords does not sit around and wait. The Knight of Swords takes action and, and forges ahead, okay? And the swords have to do with the intellect. Put your thoughts out there. Communicate. Now, your hopes and fears. So there's a fear here of being ghosted, maybe for the first time or again, or um, there won't be, a, like, this whole relationship will not come out of the clouds and hit terra firma and be stabilized, okay? Or that there will be commitment issues going forward. There's, there's a hope that there won't, but there's a fear that your person might be, I, I don't know, that you, either you or your person might be, like, living in fantasy land, and I feel like it's really important. That's why right now you're trying to get clarity, not just about your past relationships, but your future, okay? Um, Virgo, you're not usually one who lives in fantasy land. You're pretty, like, grounded. You, you know what you want, and the times that you don't, you don't just say, oh, okay, whatever, you take a step back and you, then you sort it out and analyze it to figure out what you want. Now, what I see here at the end is strength. And so my nails, I just got my nails done, I swear. They look like um, 80s porn star nails. So I'm gonna go back and like get them fixed because I mean, it's an ombre, but I know some of you men listening are like, what is she talking about? But I swear, I can't pick anything up with these. So the what i see at the outcome is a strength in being able to overcome challenges whatever your challenges are in this relationship both of you having the strength to overcome because i really feel like your person 
is just crazy wild about you. And if this is someone from your past, so be it. There is the Page of Cups, so there is new love coming here. Okay, so some of you, this could be a new lover or someone, you know, you're communicating with. You may get a new opportunity to communicate with this person. Remember, this reading will go for, we're looking from this time period um, into the first two weeks of September. So there is, um, it could be somebody new who's recently had their heart broken and they're trying not to get their heart broken and they're like... With that two of pentacles, really willing to like stabilize and make some type of commitment look. So whether this is the past or somebody new, there is an energy here. There is an energy here of overcoming some fears. Okay. Now, if this is someone that you've been connecting with in the past, I do feel like this is the past person. And when I say past, this could have been yesterday. Um, this is someone from your past who had a hard time. It feels like making some kind of transition in this relationship that was necessary, right? A lot of stalling is how I feel. Um, I see that they're going to do it. I do. I see that they're going to make take the steps to overcome, um, maybe relocate or move or travel to you. But the outcome looks beautiful. The outcome looks like fighting for this relationship seven of wands on strength having the courage to fight against the challenges to stand up against the challenges um strength energy is all about self-love unconditional love self-respect again and courage and so virgo this very well could be you um fighting off any challenges as well with that seven of wands kind of like if this person was coming in or whatever the challenges are the i want to say if there was obstacles if there were any obstacles or game playing i feel like you're not you're just not in that place anymore like you're i just see you with your boxing gloves on like you're ready to fight and there's the emperor hooray he's back so Okay, for some of you, this is you taking the lead finally here. If you're, you know, if you're a divine masculine, this is taking the lead and, and being more alpha, being in an alpha position, or this is your person taking the lead and fighting back and not taking no for an answer. Your person might, it feels like with this, this heavy duty five of wands, seven of wands energy and the courage, it feels like this person's a fighter or they're turning into being a fighter and um, becoming more brave and strategic, taking a leadership role, or it's you, okay? Emperor's Aries energy. So, I don't know, Virgo. I think that your, whatever's going on here, with you really not making any decisions and, and really just being in a position of, like, I'm not sure... If I want to date again, I'm not sure if I want to go back to somebody else. You're just kind of like, I don't necessarily feel like you're being silent so much, but you're not sharing your thoughts because you are trying to get like mental balance as well of what you're thinking. You're not opening up your internal, like your thoughts. If you do say anything to someone, I feel like it might be right now. I'm not sure. Right now, I don't know. Let's see what the love messages are from this person. I wish I had treated you better. Wow. I, I do feel like they're going to come in and tell you that. And that might be like a challenge for them. It might even be, um, I wish I had, hadn't broken your heart or caused any kind of third party situation or something along those lines. You didn't imagine it. Okay. Oh, that feels mostly like what you were seeing virgo in in something with this connection with this person that was the truth okay but i also hear someone like who had said am i imagining things is this real life could this possibly be real what's happening right now i'm not sure it could have something to do with um this uh, committed relation or this thing is, I just feel like your jaw is going to drop. 
Okay, timing just wasn't right for us. And I feel like that's how your person feels. Do I feel like your person uh, didn't or doesn't love you? No, I don't feel that. I feel like if anything, they're smitten and, and crush kind of energy is a bit immature, kind of like grade school thing, but that doesn't mean it's not valid. It was my fault, but I blamed you. And you speak to me through music. Okay. Hmm. Well, I do feel like whether this person blamed you or not, that's one thing. But what's really important is then coming in and it, admitting that what the things that they did or how they treated you, that was their fault, not yours. I wonder if you were happy without me. For some reason, this person thinks that you are not with them anymore. And they do wonder if you are happy without them. Some of you may be deciding to go forward and say, no, I don't, I don't think I can do this. I feel like you're just kind of like, you're not sure. You don't have enough information yet. I wish I could take back my words. Wow. So something that th this person may have said to you in the past. Okay. Um, really still playing on your mind. Um, you, some of you are still trying to kind of like, did I, did I imagine that what this person said to me was, did they really say that to me before? That's kind of how I feel. Okay, friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Okay, for some of you, it's a friendship that was trying to get off the ground, but perhaps there was a failure to launch. And Virgo, your feelings were definitely involved. And now you're kind of like, I don't know that you're at a crossroads, but you're really learning to love yourself again. And really, I feel, I feel like that was what you're doing at this time is really making you more romantically attractive, not just to one person, but to others or somebody else. Um, but I feel like whatever the, whatever the nature of this connection, it's definitely leading to more. This person is so attracted to you. Right. And that's the chemistry card here. There's a strong magnetic attraction. This person feels crazy attracted to you. That's kind of like a little obsessive or a crush kind of thing. But they just cannot stop thinking about you. Okay. Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Again, I remember every detail of, the, of that day. What is that day? My life is not together as together as it seems. I feel like this person puts on some kind of a front to make it seem like everything, to make it seem like they got their ish together. Um, but this protected thing here, you are safe and divinely guided. I just kind of feel like I see you just rocking in, you know, Jesus's arms, like he's caring for you. He's carrying you through this. Um, you don't have to worry. I really feel like that's mostly a message for you, but the relationship as well. I replay our conversations over and over. Um, again, this person, I don't know, they think about things that were said between the two of you. Maybe they replay um, voicemails, messages, um, things you say or that you've said, and I'm not really... Um, or just in their mind, it, it feels mostly like with this person, it's like when you guys have conversations or when you did, when the conversation ends, either they or you, somebody's here replaying the conversation and saying, darn, I should have said this, or, oh, if I had only said that, you know what I mean? It kind of feels like that. You are the best thing in my life. Okay, Virgo. I feel like you still are, but if you're leaving, I feel like this person does feel that way in some way. You've done something for them, and they want you. They just want you, Virgo. They don't want anybody else, and there may have been others, um, and they may have hesitated because they weren't sure, or maybe they were trying to weigh their options or figure out if anybody else... I mean, I know that sounds rather crappy, but... It, for some of you, that very well may have happened, and they just couldn't. 
I don't know. Something's happening. Something's happening. And a lot of you, I feel like it's just, you're like, mm, I'm just loving me right now because I know I'll be there for me. <laughs> All right, let's get some charms. Okay. Oh. All right. So we've got a spider. Some of you are are currently a widow. Okay. Um, and going through some kind of change at this time, and thinking about whether or not you want to get back out there and and date again. All right. This spider. What does this feel like? Gosh. I gotta pick it up. Hmm. Well, I'm just hearing Spider-Man, but I'm, I'm feeling very much like <sighs> internet. It might be a long distance relationship on the internet. I'm feeling like a web here or something online. Okay, very strong something online or being trapped on the web or being like, like <laughs> trying not to get caught, I feel, or trying not to get... Um, trapped in some kind of web <laughs> I don't know it's so bizarre um or and then I just tarantula I just heard tarantula as well and then I just heard oh um they just gave me is this a spider a wolf wolf spider I don't know wolf spider okay hold on oh so now you also have a snowflake so either you or the person you're connecting with is um, quite beta, but there may also be something here to do with unique, uniqueness. You are very unique, Virgo. This person is very unique, um, and you're both quite unique to each other. Maybe not a typical fit or not something that you both would normally... Um, <laughs> It's like a strong magnetic attraction, like pulled to each other, but not really sure why. And it's kind of, it, it's not, it's more like in the sense, like drawn, pulled to each other like magnets and curious about why that is and why not being pulled or drawn to somebody else. Why this person, right? So that kind of, I don't know where that was coming from, but I'm feeling like when the, when the first snow begins to fall, um, and for those of you in areas where it snows, this is specifically your message. But when the first snowflake falls, that's when there's going to be a shift. Okay. Now also, we've got a shoe, <laughs> high heeled shoe with um, what looks like a rose on it. This feels like your grandmother's shoes or grandmother's shoes or somebody collects shoes. But I feel like for the females or even those of you who are um, transitioning, um, if you're transitioning and you enjoy wearing high-heeled shoes, I feel like this may be a message for you. And for others, um, I'm just hearing it's time to get your high heels on. It's time to put your high heels back on or on again. And they're saying, <laughs> it's crazy, I just heard, and then walk up and down the steps so that you can get a really good workout because high heels and walking up on the steps is strengthens your legs. I don't know, maybe some of you are doing that. I mean, that's an odd way to get in shape, but that's you. If that's what you're doing, you're very unique. So you also have a pair of scissors. Okay, now these scissors, all right, well, the first thing is somebody here is either getting a haircut or as a hairdresser or going to school to be a hairdresser. And if that resonates for you, yes, this is for you. But I'm also feeling like these scissors are not open. And this tells me um, they're very slightly open. So it's this kind of tells me that right now at this point, you are, you might have your fingers on the scissors and have them slightly open um, to cut this relationship out and start over okay but you don't have them open wide they're just kind of you're just kind of like oh at any minute now 
if, if things don't change or if things don't work out, I'm cutting this off completely. Like I'm going to open these scissors and shear away whatever doesn't fit or work. Okay. Um, and for those of you who have already done that in a past relationship, this may be the new connection that's coming in because I feel like for you, you're just respecting yourself at this time and kind of saying, listen, you don't need to be perfect, but I have deal breakers. And the minute those deal breakers are not in alignment with what I need, I'll have my, my scissors is like pull the trigger on the scissors. That's how I feel. Now you also have cherries. Okay. Okay. Cherries. Maybe you are a maraschino cherries or maraschino seems to be significant, but there's also, um, maybe you live on cherry street or you're eating cherries at this time. Um, oh, so I just saw somebody put a cherry in a drink, like at a bar or a restaurant or put a cherry. And then I just saw sure. I just heard Shirley temple <laughs> or Shirley. Somebody's name might be Shirley. Okay. Or the, the word Shirley. Um, you know what? Wait a second. Now I was just going to close the reading and one more thing. You're not going to be able to see this. This one cherry looks like it's got a smile on it. And the other one looks like it has a frown. And I feel like someone's going to try and make you very happy. Maybe you'll be sharing drinks with someone that has cherries in it. But somebody's frowning and somebody's smiling. That's all I'm feeling right now. <laughs> That's all I'm feeling. All right, wait. One more card. I'm going to get your advice card because this reading went on. Oh, just popped out. Okay. Hmm. Five of air. Too much focusing on the negative. Be careful of that. I'm sorry. I said five of air, five of cups. Okay. Too much focusing on the negative. Be careful with that. In making this decision, there's a fear of things not turning out the way one anticipates them. There may be a need for forgiveness of self and or others. Everything happens for a reason, Virgo. Look for the hidden blessings. There are two cups here. And this person is only seeing these three broken cups and has their back turned to the two cups. This is something you may need to consider at this time. Okay. You know, I believe the power of positive thinking is good, but I understand if you're someone who has been hurt or is, has been in a hurtful relationship, I understand the need to heal. It's very difficult to be in a war zone or be in a situation where you feel unloved or uncared for um, when you feel abandoned or when you feel grief, it's very difficult to turn around and see the love, but you're being asked to do that. And if that isn't from the person, any like a lover, then try to focus on your cat who, who warms up to you to, to remind you that you're loved. Try to focus on those people who, who give you love. I'm talking about people I'm, and, and animals. I'm not talking about the money in the bank. I'm talking about where you get your cuddles and your love and your hugs. It's really important that you have that physical touch at this time because that is very healing. And no, you cannot... And for some of you, the Empress just came out. So for some of you, that's your mother, if she's still there. Um, and no, you can't cuddle with your fish. You can hug the fish tank and make believe all you like, but you need physical touch, Virgo. All right, I'm going to leave your reading there. Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow for another episode of Virgo's Love Life Saga. And um, yeah, personal reading links are in the description box below. All right, you guys. Love you. Bye.